Global warming has increased the temperature of the Earth. To lower the temperature, scientists release a cold chemical into the Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, the cold on the Earth will increase, and iceage will occur. Therefore almost all the people on Earth will die. The surviving people are on a train. The name of that train is Snowpiercer. This train runs without stopping anywhere. People are kept in different compartments depending on their status. Rich people live luxuriously in train starting compartments. The poor live in cramped compartments. They do not even get proper food. They are given only black colored protein to eat. All the poor people together with their leader Curtis make plans to escape from here. Curtis gets a message. The message was sent by someone from the front compartments. In that message one man can easily open the front compartments. He is now in the train jail. Then a lady comes here from the front compartment. She takes the two children from there saying that they need a health checkup. Hearing this, the child's father gets angry and hits her with his shoe. Then the lady security catch him. Now we see the minister mason of the train. She punishes this man for disobeying the rules by putting him in the cold. The security guards then put the man's hand out of the train and after a while take him back inside. Then they break his arm with a hammer. Seeing all this, Curtis remembers one thing. A man told Curtis that the minister's security had no bullets. Curtis walks up to a soldier and pulls the gun trigger to find out if this is true or not. Then it is confirmed that there are no bullets in their guns. Knowing this, all the people there try to run away. Then the security guards try to close the door with an iron tube. Seeing this hostages kill a soldier and run away to a security expert. His name is Minsu. A drug is used to wake him up. Minsu is a drug addict but very intelligent. Curtis tells him that every door you open will give you a drug pill. Minsu I have a daughter for that. Her name is Yona. He asks that the drugs you give should be doubled. Curtis says okay to that. Then Minsu opens a compartment door. The entire compartment is empty. All of them are very happy to look out of the window. Then Minsu opens another compartment. That compartment is used to prepare food. He is shocked to see food in it. Because the protein given to them is made from cockroaches. Then he decides not to tell anyone about this matter. Then he gets another message. Water is written in it. Then an old man told Curtis that if we bring the water source under our control, automatically the train will also come under our control. Then they all go into the next compartment. All the security guards are holding axes. Then a fight starts between them. Many will die in that fight. Then an officer tells them that we have reached the bridge that tells the time. This means they have completed another year in train. All the security guards here will start the New Year celebrations. Then the minister comes there and threatens to kill you if you don't go back with Curtis and his men. Curtis decided to move on. Then the security guards take off their night vision glasses. Now the train travels through a tunnel. Then Curtis and his men see nothing. Then all the soldiers attack them together. Many of Curtis's men die in this fight. Curtis then orders his men to set fire. They do the same. Then they all attack the security guards. On the other hand, Curtis grabs the minister and asks the security guards to stop the attack. A man comes to attack Curtis. Then Yona kills that person. After that they go into the compartment that supplies water to the entire train. Curtis stops the train's water supply and decides to deal with the captain. Knowing this, the minister says this train collects this water from the snow coming from the front of the train. Even if you stop the water, the front compartments will not have any problem. But the compartments at the back face a lot of trouble. Hearing this Curtis decides to go into the front compartments. Then they carry the minister and move forward past many compartments. Then they go into the school compartment. Children of rich people study in that school. Here they teach about how the captain of the train saved the people. Also the teacher tells the children about the people who escaped from here and got frozen in the snow. Then a person brings eggs for the new year celebration. Here comes another message to Curtis. Blood is written in that message. Before he understands this, the teacher attacks them with a gun. Then a man from Curtis kills her. The person who brought the eggs sees the death of the teacher. Immediately he takes out his gun and attacks Curtis's men. A guard then kills Curtis's man as Curtis watches. He gets very emotional seeing this. Soon he kills the minister. Then Curtis moves forward with his men. All of them are shocked to see the luxury life of rich people. A sniper shoots Yona while train takes U-turn. But Yona dodges the bullet. Just then a rich man and a security guard try to stop the sniper. Then he beats them both. Just then Curtis comes there and shoots the sniper. So he gets injured. Still he beats Curtis well. Then he loses consciousness. 
Later he is about to kill Curtis when Curtis's man intercepts the sniper. Then the sniper kills the guy. Minsu also reaches there. Sniper and Minsu fight. Curtis and Minsu will kill the sniper together. Now Curtis, Minsu and his daughter Yona together approach the forward captain's compartment. Curtis is very angry because his men are dying. He wants to go into the captain's compartment. Then Minsu says we should blast the side door. Also says the outside temperature is normal now. All the snow melts slowly. But Curtis doesn't believe his words. While they are talking, the lady seen in the movie starting comes here. She shoots Minsu and takes Curtis to the captain. Actually the old man with Curtis is the captain. He himself sent messages to Curtis and made the rebel group to be formed. That's why so many died. The captain's goal is to kill as many as possible. Because if more people die in the train, water and food are under control. Curtis doesn't believe his words. Captain then shows him the pills that send messages to Curtis. Curtis is very sad after hearing all this. The captain says that after my death, you will be the captain of this train. On the other hand, Minsu tries to stop the people who came to attack. Then he asks Yona to blast the bomb. Hearing this, Yona immediately kills the lady and goes to Curtis for a lighter. Then they both open the small door of the engine. Children brought for health checkup are working in it. Captain says this train is continuously running. Hence the engine parts of the train get damaged. Then we will replace these children at engine parts place. Hearing all this, Curtis gets very angry and beats the captain. Later he pulls out a child from the engine when his hand gets stuck in it. On the other hand, Yona takes the lighter from Curtis and sets fire to the bomb. Curtis and Minsu hold Yona and the kid tightly. Then the whole train gets blasted. Therefore all those in it will die. Only Yona and the child survive. They will be shocked to see the place outside. Because this train has been running continuously for 17 years. They were born in a train. They do not know the outside world. Outside they both see a white beer. Then both of them get hope that they can survive outside. This is how this movie ends. 99% people watch my videos without subscribing. I am working hard to make these videos. My humble request to subscribe my channel to grow.